This month we'll be studying the parables of Jesus, Kongetsies no Tatoe Benashio, Anabimas, and we'll begin with the parable of the sower. Mazu Tane o Makuhito no Tatoe o Manabitaito o Moimas. So our message today is the parable of the sower, based on Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 23. The same parable is also in Mark 4 and Luke 8. Kyo no onashi wa matai ni yoru fukun shou jusan shou i setsu kara nijusan setsu ni modozuite imasu. Onaji tatoi benashi wa maruko yon shou to ruka hashou ni mo arimasu. Mazu tatoi benashi to wa nan desu ka? But what is a parable? A parable is a short story told to convey a lesson. Parables often make use of things from nature or ordinary human experience. Tatoi benashi to wa so the Old Testament has parables, but we'll focus on the parables of Jesus in the New Testament, of which there are 30 or 40, depending on exactly how you count. Today's Bible passage has three parts. Uh, the first part is the parable of the sower. The second is the reason for speaking in parables. And the third is the explanation of the parable. But we're going to go in kind of a, a different order. We're going to start with the reason for speaking in parables, number two in this list. It kind of messes up the order, but I think that may be useful for us. We want to remember here that Matthew 12 is a place where the Pharisees severely criticize Jesus, and very unreasonably, they say that he is using the power of the devil to cast out demons, uh, although that makes no sense at all. また、十二章、今日の箇所の前に、フェルサイ派の人々は、もう厳しく支援を非難していますね。それではもう悪霊の力によって、その悪霊を追い出していると言います。その悪霊の頭の力で悪霊を追い出していると非難しています。それは、お
を悟ることについて話していらっしゃいますね。そして、天の国というのは神の永遠の支配を意味する。天国で起こる事柄をはじめ、地上で起こるあらゆる出来事も含まれています。これは話題になっています、シエスの話で。これはもう天の国の秘密を悟ること、理解とその知識ですね。So the topic here that Jesus is talking about is the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. And it's important to remember that as we go to the next verse. 次の聖句を見るときは、それを覚えておく方が助かります。Whoever has will be given more, and he will have in abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. Now, that would sound very severe and very strange, except we know that what he's talking about is this knowledge and understanding of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. Motte iru hito wa sara ni atai rare te yutake ni naru ga. Motte inai hito wa motte iru mono made mo tori agirari ru. 文脈を忘れてしまうと、これは本当におかしい発言となります。しかし、シエスは天の国の秘密に関しての悟りや知識について話していらっしゃいます。シエスはそれで、ただの当たり前の真理のことを話していらっしゃいます。なぜでしょうかもう聖書を読む人を考えましょう。So why would Jesus say that? Well, let's think of a person reading the Bible. One person reads the Bible, and the more they read, the more they understand the kingdom of God, the more they understand God's ways. But another person reads it, and the more frustrated and confused they get, because it depends on the condition of their heart. ある人は聖書を読んでいるうちに、もう天の国のことをもっとわかるように読めば読むほど理解ができます、悟りができます。でも別の人は、もう読めば読むほど困難になってしまいます。なぜでしょうかそれは心の状態によって理解ができるかどうかのことですから。この二人をご覧ください。Take a look at these two people and, and at their faces. 目つきを注意しましょう。この人たちは精神にどう反応するでしょうかどう思いますか ?How do you think these men would respond to the Bible? The guy on the left, he, he looks kind of hard and he looks angry. Mohidari no hono hito wa, mo choto kibishi metsuki ga ate, okotte iru kanjo desu. Shikashi, migi no hono hito o mitara, kono hito wa, mo choto yasashi kao shite, ma nanka kangaiti iru kanji de, mo kyomi o motsu koto o yoji shite imas ne. Well, the guy on the left, he looks rather hard and severe and maybe angry. But the guy on the right, he looks like he's thinking. He looks like he's interested in what's going on. So, この二人の反応は全然違うと思います。So, I think the two of them would respond very differently to the Bible. And here we see in 1 Corinthians 2.14 the reason why, aside from their current just attitude. もう態度を置いて、それがあって、でも、もうクリント第一、二章十四節にも、なぜこの二人は別の話をするかの説明が書かれています。The man without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. See, he's unable to understand because he needs the spirit of God in his heart in order to understand. シーズンの人は神の霊に属する事柄を受け入れません。その人にとってそれは愚かなことであり、理解できないのです。霊によって初めて判断できるからです。この人はもう心が固く、精霊は入っていないので、理解は絶対できません。そういうことで、もうその人たちの反応が違うのです。それで持っている人々に与えられる持っていない人々にはもう持っていることまで取り上げられる。So we see the person who has will gain even more and the person who does not have will lose even what they have. 
uh, in that context at that time in their lives. Now, maybe as time goes on, their attitudes will change, and both of them will have the Spirit of God in their hearts and understand. Sono toki wa mo idari no hono hitu wa wakana na kata de wa kokoro ni imasen deshite no de yurushai imasen deshite kiri mo betsu no toki ni kare mo joto likai ga dekiri yoni ni seire wa kokoro ni yadotte yurusharu koto ni naru kamoshiri masen. Ma matai ni modotte ju san cho ju san setsu kara. Dakara kare ni wa tatoe o mochite hanasu no da. Mitimo mizu, kitimo kikazu, dikaga dekinai kara de aru. And back in Matthew 13, 13 and following. This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Iziya no yogin wa kai ni yote jitsugen shita. Anata tachi wa kiku ni wa kiku ga keshite rikai sezu. Miru ni wa miru ga keshite mitome nai. Kono tami no kokoro wa niburi. Mimi wa touku nari. Mei wa tojite shimatta. Koshite kaira wa mei de miru koto naku. Mimi de kiku koto naku. Kokoro de rikai sezu. Kuira tame nai. Watashi wa kaira o yasu nai. For this people's heart has become callous. They hardly hear with their ears and they've closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. Now here, this sounds like a pretty uh, a severe word that Jesus is sharing here. But we remember that even though Jesus is saying this about these people at this time, God's heart is to save all. He really wants everyone to come to repentance and to be saved. Mo kono tokoro mo mitara mo shiesu wa mo kibishi a kotobo wakachi atte mas kere de mo sore wa sono toji no hitobitu ni tanshite kami sama no mikokoro shiesu no mikokoro wa subete no hito ga skuwareru yo ni naru mikokoro nan desu. Sore sono toki wa sono hito wa sono jinbi ga dekte inai kara mo skuware nai desu te mo God loves all people, but some people deliberately close their eyes to his love, but God waits for them to open their eyes and to come to faith. Shunaru kami wa sono hito tachi ga me o hiraku yo ni naru jiki o matte irishaimasu. Petro dai ni sansho kyusetsu ni mo kono shinri ga akiraku ni sarete imasu. This is something that we see in 2 Peter 3.9. It's very clear there. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promises. Some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Aru hito tachi wa osoi to kangaete iru yo desu ka, shu wa yakusoku no jitsugen o okurasete orariru de wa arimasen, so de wa naku hitori mo horobanai de minna ga kuiara tameru yo ni to anategata no tame ni nintai shite orariru no desu. そしてその人たち、私たちでも、救われるときに神様は大喜び、思っていらっしゃいます。And when those people or us come to salvation and faith, God is filled with joy. マタイ13章16節に戻ります。しかしあなた方の目は見ているから幸いだ。あなた方の耳は聞いているから幸いだ。はっきり言っておく。多くの預言者、正しい人たちはあなた方が見ているものを見た方が、見ることができず、あなた方が聞いているものを聞きた方が、聞けなかったのである。But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For I tell you the truth, many prophets and righteous men long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. 
神様、主なるイエスは、もう大喜びを持っていらっしゃいます。今、その相手は、もう見て、分かっていらっしゃるのです。救われるのです。ここでは、もう、イエスは弟子たちに話していらっしゃることを覚えたいと思います。それで、その預言者たち、正しい人は、もう、これを見てかってでも見なかったことは、それは旧約聖書時代の人ですね。So here we need to remember that Jesus is speaking at that time to those disciples of his there, and he has joy that they are understanding what he's saying, but he's reminding them that in the Old Testament period, the prophets and righteous men longed to see what they were now seeing, which is the coming of the Messiah. メシアの登場を見てかったのです。その旧約聖書の時代の人でも弟子たちは、今それを見ているのですね。シエスは目の前にいらっしゃいます。So why did Jesus use parables? Well, let's summarize a little bit. Jesus used parables to both hide and reveal deep truths. The parables reveal truth to those who are ready to hear, but conceal it from the hard-hearted until they are ready to listen. So the same parable can both reveal deep truth to the person who's ready to hear it, And hide it from the person who is not ready. Nazi Yeswa Tatoyo Skawadata no deska. Yeswa Fukai Shinio Kakush Mata Akirakini Suru Tamini Tatoe Banashio Oskawarini Narimashita. Sumari Tatoe Banashi wa Kiku Jumbiga Dekte Hito ni wa Shinio Akirakini Shi. Kokno Katai Hito ni wa Kakushimas. Kiku Jumbiga Dekta Himade no desne. それで同じ例え話でもある人はそれを聞いて多くの喜びを持ってその不快心理を理解します悟りますでも別の人はそれを聞いて何もわからないでもう困難になってしまいますそれは聞く準備ができる時までのことなんですじゃあ次は今日与えられた例え話を読みましょう So, next, let's go ahead and read today's parable that we have. And you see here,、uh, we have a painting by Vincent van Gogh. Mo Vincent van Gogh no mo abura e des k e r i d m o So, here he is the painting called The Sower, and he、uh, does this based on this Matthew 13 parable. Koro a matai ju san shio no tatoe banash ni motozuita e des ne, mo tanio maku hito. You see, the man is walking through the fields, and as he walks through the fields, he spreads the seed one handful at a time, just throwing it out so that it will land in the field and some of it will sprout. Tane o maku hito wa hatake o ruki nagara, hito giri zutsu, sono tane o maite ikimas ne. Sore wa mo dono tokoro ni mo sore o maite imas. Now, Jesus told this parable, we know from the context. Uh, on the Lake Galilee, or at Lake Galilee. And according to tradition, it was at this place known as the Cove of the Sower. Mo seisho kara watashi wa kore wa garadaya ko de hana sarita tatoi banashi da to wakarimasu kiri de mo. Mo kyokai no dento ni yore to kore wa kono garadaya ko no mo tani maki no irie to iwari te toko de. Uh, well, starting in Matthew chapter 13, verse 1, we're going back a little bit,、uh, so the order is different, but now we get to the parable itself. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the people stood on the shore. So, no, he, yes, wa, io, det, de, mo, mizu, mi, no, hotori, ni, suwate, orarita, suru, to, o, se, no, gun, shi, ga, sobe, ni, atsu, mate, kite, no, de, yes, wa, fun, ni, no, de, koshi, o, oro, sarita, gun, shi, wa, mi, ne, kishi, be, ni, tate, ita. So, can you imagine what the scene might have looked like? So, no, mama no, sozo dekimasu ka? Aru hito wa, kono yo ni sozo shimashita. One person imagined it like this, you know, that Jesus is there in the boat and the people are crowded down to the water's edge everywhere they can so that they can hear 
as Jesus speaks to them. そして、シエスはもうその船に座っていらっしゃいます。もう大勢の人は集まってきて、岸辺のところまでできるだけ近くになって、もう耳をあもう傾いていますね。Let's continue. まあ、続きます。Then he told many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. イエスは例えを用いて、彼に多くのことを語られた。種をまく人が種まきに出て行った。まいている間にある種は道端に落ち、鳥が来て食べてしまった。As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Hoku no tane wa ishi da rake de tsuchi no skunai tokro ni ochi. Soko wa tsuchi ga asai no de tsugu me o dashita. Shikashi, higa no boru to yakete ne ga nai tame ni karete shimata. Kore wa sono ishi da rake de tsuchi. のまあ、私が撮った写真ですけれどもそのような感じだったかもしれません。So maybe this is a, an image of like that rocky soil, what it might have been like. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants. 他の種は茨の間に落ち、茨が伸びてそれを塞いでしまった。Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop. A hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. He who has ears, let him hear. Tokoro ga hoku no tane wa, yoi tochi ni ochi. Mi o musunde, aru mono wa hyaku bai, aru mono wa rokuju bai, aru mono wa sanju bai ni mo natta. Mimi no aru mono ga kiki na sai. Mimi ga ari masu ka? Kite iri jai masu ka? So do you have ears? Are you listening? Be good soil. 良い土地になりなさい。そのメッセージですね。もう多くの実を結ぶために。So you can just produce a lot of fruit. But let's think about this for a moment. In this parable, there are four soils. 四つの土はこの例え話にあります。And you know immediately when you hear that Jesus isn't really talking about farming or raising crops because no farmer Would plant seed on the hard、uh, side of the path or in the rocks or in the thorns because it would be just wasted. もうシエスは何か農業の話しているしゃることではないとすぐわかります。なぜかと言いますと、農夫は賢いですから、もう茨の中、石のだらけのところとか、道端に種を無駄にまくはずはないですからで。それはもう種をまく人は良い土地を探しているでしょう。So what is Jesus talking about? それで、シエスは何について話していらっしゃいますか ?18 節からあ説明していりますね。Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. だから、種をまく人の例えを聞きなさい。When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, The evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is the seed sown along the path. Dari de mo mikuni no kotobo o kite, satora na kereba, warui mono ga kite, kokoro nakani, makareta mono o ubai toru. Michi batani, makareta mono to wa, koyu hito de aru. Satori wa mo akure akuma no koto o sashti imas, ne, sono teki no koto o sashti imas. And of course, we see that the, the birds here represent、uh, evil spirits or the devil, just the enemy coming and taking away that seed that was sown because the person didn't understand it and didn't get anything from it. The one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. Ishi dadaki no toku ni makare te mono to wa, mi kotoba o kite, sugu yurokonde uke ireru ga. がとありますね。もう喜んで受け入れています。が。receives it with joy, but 
Since he has no root, he lasts only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, he quickly falls away. So he falls away and he just separates from the truth. The one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. Ibara no naki ni makareta mono to wa, mi kotoba o kiku ga, yo no omoi wazarai ya, tomi no yu waku ga, mi kotoba o oi fusai de, mi nore nai hito de aru. But the one who received the seed that fell on good soil is the man, or woman of course, who hears the word and understands it. He produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Yoi tochini makareta monoto wa mikotobo kite satoru hito de ari. Aru mono wa hyakubai, aru mono wa rokujubai, aru mono wa sanjubai no mi o musubu no de aru. Amen. Subarashi desu ne. Kade wa tashitachi wa wakarimasu ne. The sower is God in this parable, Jesus, of course, but also in the bigger sense, God throughout time, who plants his word or his truth in every heart. And each person responds according to the condition of their heart. Tani o maku mono wa kami de ari, mata kono tatoe benashi de kristo de arimasu de mo zutto so you think about there were four soils, right? In the first one, we have the hard uh, side of the path where the seed won't go in, it just kind of bounces down there. The person doesn't understand, and the birds of the enemy come and take it away. And also we have the person who's filled with wor worldly worries and they're worried about things and their heart is full of the, the greeds of this world, you know, uh, worrying about money and things. And they just don't bear any fruit. They're unfruitful, even though they have some understanding. And of course, there's the, the rocky places, you know, where the person receives it with joy, but he falls away as soon as there is trouble, as soon as there's difficulty, uh, and doesn't continue. So, stay ishi darake de no tsuchi wa, mo sono hito wa yorokonde sono mikotoba o uke irimasu ka, mo tsugu tsumazuite shimao, nani ka mondai hakugai, and last of all is the good soil, where the person understands the word and they produce an abundant harvest through applying the word in their lives. So, daitai kono tatoi berashi o yonde hito wa mo yotsu no hito no koto o kangaimasu. Demo sore dake de wa arimasen. Usually when we read this, we think of four people, but that's not the only understanding. The different soils can represent four different people's hearts or one person's heart at different times in their life. Mo koto naru tsuchi wa yone no kokoro sasu koto de mo I know in my own life that there were times when my life was filled with the worries of this world and I was not fruitful. 
もう世の煩いでいっぱいになって私はもう何も実を結んでいない時期もありました。And I know there were times when my heart was hard and I didn't listen. そして心が固く耳を傾けない時期もありました自分には。その様々な土は自分の心の中にもう人月によって違う反応がありました。私の心は違いましたから。Uh, so, してどうしましょう What about us? What can we do for our own hearts and for the people around us? We are not going to be able to do anything. We are not going to be able to do anything. We are not going to be able to do anything. First of all, we can clear the rocks and thorns from our heart as best we can. I grew up on a farm. I'm a farm child, you know. And in Missouri,、uh, you have very good soil, but you have to remove the rocks and the thorns before you begin to plant because there's always lots of rocks and lots of thorns. And you gather the rocks up and pile them up somewhere in the field, and you gather the thorns up and you burn them, but then you have very good soil.、And、a lot of our hearts are like that. We have rocks and thorns in our hearts. Uh, the troubles of this world and things that cause us not to be able to really produce fruit. And we need to do what we can with God uh, helping uh, to uh, become good soil. もう自分の力でできることありますでも実は神様の御業ですけれどもできるだけ良い土になるのことですね私はムズリ州で育てられた農家のものですねその農家でムズリ州ではその土地はいい土地でしたけれども石はたくさんありました茨はたくさんありましたそれ畑を準備する時はもうまずその石をできるだけ取ってもうどこかでその畑の一つの場所でそれを全部捨ててあとは茨をできるだけ集まって火をつけてそれを焼きますねそのあとは良い土地となりますこのようなことはもうこの例え話から分かりますけれどももう旧約聖書にもありましてね So, we can see a lot of this idea in this parable, but we can also look back in the Old Testament. Hosea 書10章12節にもこういう言葉があります。恵みの技をもたらす種をまけ、愛の実りを借り入れよう。新しい土地を手繰やせ。主を求める時が来た。ついに主が訪れて恵みの網を注いでくださるように。Chapter 10, verse 12 says, Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap the fruit of unfailing love, and break up your unplowed ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers righteousness on you. So, this is a little different image because we see Jesus using the image where Jesus is the sower planting the seed. But we also see in Hosea that we can sow for ourselves works of righteousness, good deeds. Of loving other people, and we see the fruit of that love in our lives. これはイメージはちょっと違います。その例え話では、もうシエスご自身は種,まく種をまく方になりますけれども、このホゼエの言葉で、私たちはもう自分の心に種をまいて、それは私たちはもう恵みの技、良い技をして、それは私たちの心を良い土とする。愛の実りを借り入れようとありますね。それは私たちは自分の心をたぐやすいのようなことですね。たぐやしますね。So it's like we're plowing in our own hearts and what we want is to become good soil so we can bear an abundant harvest for God's kingdom. 神の御国のために豊かな収穫を実ることができるように私たちは良い土になりたい。そして自分のことだけを考えるわけではありません。We mustn't think only of ourselves. We must also think of others. 周りの人のことも考えないといけないでしょう。In 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 it tells us to pray for everyone. 
テマテ第一、二章、一節と二節に、すべての人々のために祈るようにと進まれていますね。そして次は、その三節、四節。これは私たちの救い主である神の御前に良いことであり、喜ばれることです。神はすべての人々が救われて、真理を知るようになることを望んでおられます。And the next verse is here in verse 3 and 4. It says, This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. So, in prayer and in good deeds, we can work to、uh, prepare other people's hearts, but first of all, our own heart, so that we might be good soil. そして、祈りを通して、そして、愛の技に。として私たちは周りの人々にも恵みを与えてその人の心の準備を助けることができますでもまず自分の心を考えて自分の心にその意志と威張があればできるだけそれを取り除くことが神様の御助けで。But first of all, with God's help, we need to remove the stones and the thorns from our own heart. Let's pray. And this time in Japanese. お祈りします。愛する主、あなたみなを褒めたたえます。あなたみわざを感謝します。シエスのみわざを特に感謝します。十字架上で私たちの見代わりになって、私たちの罪を許すことをできて、それはもう。見終わりになってくださったことは私たちの罪のために死んでくださったことです。心から感謝します。そして彼はもう3日の朝によみがえられてその永遠の命を証拠してくださったのです。感謝です。私たちはもう常に心が固くなり、そしてこのような煩いでいっぱいになってしまいます。私たちは身を結ぶない日が多いですけれども、お許しください。私たちが良い心を持って、心が良い土となって、あなたの御国のために豊かな収穫を実らすことができるように助けて導きください。私たちが目で見ることができるように、耳で聞くことができるように、あなたの愛、あなたの見業、あなたの精霊の導きによって、私たちが周りの人々にも祝福をもたらすことができますように。そして、もう、聞いている人々の間に、困っている人もいらっしゃると思います。病気になってしまった人もいらっしゃるかもしれません。その、苦しんでいる人々に、あなたの右手を伸ばして、癒しを与えください。悲しんでいる人々に、新しい喜びを与えください。一人ぼっちになって、誰もそばに来てくれないと思う人々に、新しい出会いを与えてください。そして、その人と共にいて、あなたはそこにいらっしゃることを明らかにされますように。私たちはあなたの愛を感謝します。あなたの恵みを感謝します。その恵みと愛を注いでください。私たちに、私たちの家族、隣人、周りの人々にお与えください。注いでください。この町にあなたの愛を。シエスの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。